We start tonight with new reaction on the hit heard round the football world, sidelining Hawaii's Tua Tonga Vailoa just two games into the season. The NFL says the Miami Dolphins quarterback suffered a concussion, putting his pro career in jeopardy. Our Ben Gutierrez is here now with tonight's top story. This is the latest head injury for the St. Louis grad who just signed a record contract with the Dolphins. Some fans say maybe time for Tonga Vailoa to consider retiring. Pressure to a step up. He's going to run for the first down and takes a shot. Late in the third quarter, the Dolphins franchise star Tua Tonga Vailoa plowed into Buffalo Bills safety Damar Hamlin, then fell and hit his head on the turf. He stayed down for two anxious minutes, then walked off the field to the locker room. I was just worried about my guy, so, um, yeah, that's, that's, uh, yeah, not, not something that you uh, ever, want, ever want to be a part of. He limped off the field, and again, it could be a multiple thing where he did have some type of lower extremity injury, but that also could be something neurological. And then he seemed to mouth, uh, did I get knocked out? Which is, again, when you don't know the circumstances, that's never a good sign. So especially since it's happened twice before. An especially severe concussion ended Tua's 2022 season, but also spurred some changes. Tua started a new rule where there's, a, you know, actually an official up above that's monitoring any potential concussions on the field. There's also a sideline doctor as well. So he has a new helmet. I don't see it as, as a big issue. However, in this case, when he did get hit, it clearly was something that uh, may have triggered some previous uh, injuries. And doctors say typically the more someone gets a concussion, the worse it is. And they've been studying the brains of NFL players and finding a real correlation between the number of times that they've had a concussion and the amount of sort of atrophy of their brain. Their brain is just literally shriveling up. Tongo Vailoa just signed a new four-year contract with the Dolphins worth $212 million, making him the fifth highest paid quarterback in the NFL. Even if he never plays again, Tongo Vailoa would be guaranteed $167 million. Some fans and medical experts say he should consider hanging up his helmet. For NFL players, the more times they get concussions, they start to ask themselves that question. Gosh, how much longer do I think I can put my body through this? This is, I wouldn't say unprecedented, but in terms of a star football player, this stage of his career, this could be early retirement and there's still a lot obviously to unfold. We just need to evaluate and um, and, you know, just worry about my, um, you know, my teammate and uh, like, like the rest of the guys are. Doctors say players recovering from concussions need to take a break for at least a week, but it's possible Tonko Bailoa may stay on the sidelines longer. The Dolphins say he'll undergo more evaluations tomorrow. Ben Gutierrez, how about you news now? Thank you, Ben. About